Hi, I'm Milton Rendell. Welcome to Real News Friday. Um, as we predicted, we thought that uh, we'd see an increase in sales. Obviously, a little bit of a lull because of the COVID scenario and lack of home open. So we saw the sales go back up to 1,042. So I'd say that's more of a catch-up than anything over the last week. So let's see where we go in the, in the coming weeks. Stock levels up to 8,886. So that's up 5% on where we were uh, a month ago and still 23% down on where we were a year ago. But look, the basics are we are seeing a little bit more stock dripping in. So uh, let's see if that trend continues. Um, rentals is probably about as steady as it'll be. It's uh, pretty well similar to the previous week. Um, but the number of many uh, number of properties that are available is up five percent on what it was previously uh, previous uh, month, uh, but still down forty seven percent on a year ago. Now, uh, a couple of quick things. Obviously, we had the federal budget handed down. Um, that I think that's sort of a build up to next year's election. No doubt about that. And a lot of people have said that. Um, Interesting part about there's still plenty of support and continue the support to the first home buyers, which is an interesting one. The challenge I think when I look at these budgets um, and when I hear about it is there certainly help the first home buyers, there's not a problem there at all. The, but the bigger challenge becomes the actual stock levels and uh, introducing more buyers to a marketplace is great, it is a good catalyst for, for prices increasing but then the, the next debate becomes is what's available, there's not enough housing etc etc. I think it would be nice to see something in terms of some of the budgets etc going forward which help remove some of the cumbersome infrastructure they have for approvals uh, because what we tend to do is real estate is a supply demand situation and, and, and that's the way it works. Um, we don't oversupply, but I think we need to find a way that we, that developers, uh, particularly for land and um, for units, etc., can do it in a, in a more swift fashion than what they do, because quite often they miss the trend and they get stung at the end of it. So uh, some developers make very good money in the first part of an upward trend, and in the second half they, they get ripped to pieces. So I think it would be interesting to see the federal government can address some of that, uh, particularly at the state level. Interesting. Uh, the Premier puts his hammer up and claims that he's saved the whole Australian economy. I think that was probably a little bit unjust. Yes, I believe Australia, uh, WA does support our economy uh, in Australia, but I just don't think we should be beating our chest too heavily um, in terms of that. But that's just a, probably a bit of a political thing, and we probably shouldn't go down that pathway. But I just thought it was a little bit in inappropriate. Um, yes, WA, we know that we help the economy, but I don't think we need to be that arrogant about it. Um, the other thing is I'd probably like to talk today about is um, obviously we moved into the new Catalyst building as a, as a business and a managing agent in September. Now it is an interesting one because of the fact obviously Midland Oval has had a lot of controversy about it and a lot of discussion over a long period of time. And, and I think I may have even mentioned that uh, I was president of Midland Football Club in 1985 it was even being discussed then. Um, what I want to share with you just really, really quickly is the success of the Catalyst Building. Um, in terms of being able to find tenancies or tenants, um, we've done a, I think my team has done a fantastic job, but I also think the owner did a sensational job in, in the type of uh, construction that, it, that was created. Um, it is a new lifestyle for the area, um, and, and what we have seen probably over 75% of the people who, who have been attracted to this building have been outside of Midland, uh, which, is, which is fantastic. That means we're bringing other people in, different uh, demographic groups into our, into our area, and there is a hell of a lot of professional people in this, in this building. Um, in terms of management, um, I've been in real estate for 34 years, and I think what's been created with the Catalyst is fantastic for Midland economy. And the reason I say that is that we, and I mentioned before, different demographic groups. The average income and the type of people who are living in this building is well in excess of what I've seen in other parts of Midland and small complexes. Um, there are quite a number of professional people, uh, both in medical and other fields, um, but we have attracted a lot of medical people, and that's obviously a byproduct of the hospital. But when we're getting applications for the rentals, people are moving from areas like Maylands, um, Bayswater, and, and areas a little bit further to here. Um, and I, I don't think we would have attracted that previously. 
And I'm really looking forward to the next stage of the catalyst development being the catalyst two, which um, I believe will probably release out re relatively quickly. In fact, we have a waiting list just on this building alone um, that we constant, uh, constantly update um, because it has proved to be very, very popular. Uh, one, because of the location, and second is because of what it has created in its own culture. And this is a fully secured building um, and we've had minimal problems throughout and, uh, and I think we're in a fair position to judge what, how this first stage in the middle and oval is going. I'd give it a big thumbs up. Um, I've lived in this area all my life, um, 60 years of it, so I think I'm in a fair position to judge where this is going and uh, I have heard there's a bit of a rumble out there, people saying that uh, it, it hasn't progressed well enough. I think this first stage has been fantastic. I think that, that it will continue to do so. Uh, like I said, Catalyst Stage 2, I understand that's in the final approval stages, and I believe that that will add again, and as will uh, the stages thereafter. I think what we've got to recognise is that Midland is evolving, and we need it to evolve because it is the centre of to the two major junctions, Great East, Northern and Great Eastern Highway. Either if you're going north or if you're going east, we are the junction for that. And we need to have a very strong economic situation in Midland. And I think the catalyst and buildings similar to it are the step in exactly the right direction. And I look forward to seeing this continue over the next 10 to 15 years. I'd like to congratulate the council on their persistence to get it done, but also the developer who did this development. But to me, uh, as a, as a, a local resident, I give the um, catalyst a big tick. Um, as a real estate agent, obviously I think it's fantastic. But most importantly, I really do think it's adding a value that we haven't had. And I think it's assisting in our demographic mix that we've, we are looking to evolve in the area. I think it's a step in the right direction. So well done to everyone who's been involved in the, the creation of the catalyst. And I look forward to that growing forward. In the meantime, if you know anything else about real estate, Check out realestateplus.com.au